Hello, let's do Advent of Sudoku, day 12. If you're not familiar with Advent of Sudoku, check the description for the playlist. In video one, I go over it in detail, but basically we're doing a Stoku a day until Christmas, and they're all by Kinnison. This one is called Finger Counting. So we have normal six by six rules. In addition to that, digits separated by an X sum to 10, so these two sum to 10, and digits separated by a V sum to five, these two sum to five. And that's it, those are all of the rules. Uh, for those who um, know what this means, there is no negative constraint, which means I could have two digits summing to 10 or to 5 elsewhere, and they, there don't have to be X's and V's specified for all of them. We just have a positive constraint of where they exist. They definitely do sum to 5 or 10. So definitely give this a try yourself. Uh, the link is in the description, and I am going to get started right now. So in a 6x6, six six, these 10s are extremely powerful because we know that the only way to add to 10 in a six by six is four plus six. There's just no other way to do it. We can't do five plus five because that would repeat the five in the row or column and X's are always sharing a row or column. Um, so those are just immediately given. And now on a five, you can't. Uh, it would be very difficult to add the five using a six. So that disambiguates these, all of these in fact. And then this four, we have to add one to it to get to five. Now, how do you get to five without a one? Well, you have to do two plus three. And so this is a three and this is a two, and now that's a three to get back to five. And then now we don't have a two or a three, so this has to be one plus four. So we'll just pencil that. And then this is just the last for the box, which is a five. Four plus one is five. And I think at this point, it's just down to Sudoku. So nice and quick here. We need a six in this column that goes down here. And then this box needs a five as well. This six gives us four and six. That gives us one and four. Oops, I typed seven, which does not exist in this puzzle. Um, one, two, three. We need four and five up here. We know the order because of this four. Now in here, I need a one and a three. So we know the order. In here, I do need a two. Let's see, oh yeah. So up here, I need a two and a five. And then down here, I need the, the three. Um, over here I need a 1 and a 5, we know the order. I need 3, 2, and 6. Let's give this 2 and 5 first, so now I need 3, 2, and 6. So, let's just pencil it, 2, 3, 6. Yeah, this this sees a 2, ah, oh, this column was done. That's a 3, that's a 2, that's a 6. And then um, up here I do need a 1 and a 5, and then down here I need a 2 and a 3. And there we go, we are done. Nice 3 minute solve there. I forgot to reset on this one, but that sounds about right. So explaining it and then solving it was three minutes. So awesome. Uh, how'd you do today? And of course, if you enjoyed this content, then why not leave a like and subscribe?